turn it up. It's quiet. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I need to. <laughs> I need to see those guns again. <laughs> what is going on, bro? You know what I like most about this fit right here is that the jeans don't. Oh, Medina, thanks for the 18 months. Damn, bro. Is that Montana? South, North Dakota? Ah, oh, Wyoming. I was in the region. I was in the region. I represent, I believe, the American dream. Being able to give a couple hundred million dollars away, according to the press. Okay. Only in America could someone with $800 of accumulate pay. What is he saying? Is he slurring over his words? Is this old man okay? I really can't understand him. I'm going to go back just a second. I, I really want to hear him out. Only in America could someone with $800 of accumulate pay. <laughs> Only America could sell $800 of accumulate pay. Achieve this enormous blessing. I think that's what makes America so different, and that's why I love this place a lot. What? What? Bro, are you telescoping into the wall? What are you looking at? We've all been in a room like this, right? It's usually a bed and breakfast or uh, your least favorite relatives like cabin up north. At least I have in the Midwest. Been in fucking many of these. Yikes. I'm Foster Freeze. Make or a bar, yeah. Been to a bar like that and they sell bad brick oven pizza. Maybe you've heard of me. Foster this Freeze. is the Foster Freeze only in America story. Okay. Well, it started out in a very humble way. I grew up in a small town in northern Wisconsin. The, the, uh, Did they sell lower jaws there? And did you refuse to buy one so that you could speak to us clearly? This guy in town was the uh, mobile gas staff. Do they have a closed captioning? They do not. Okay. Not surprised the TPUSA uh, broadcast is inaccessible. And the uh, Undertaker. In, in high school, I was captain of the basketball team, the Looks track good. team, the golf team, the baseball team, president of class, president of student council, valedictorian. All Dude. It's really sad when you're like, 65 years old or whatever he is and you're like so let me tell you my high school accolades real quick like what <laughs> this dude fucking <laughs> he fucked the prom queen and he's like well pack it in baby call it, call it good all the things that are possible when you only have 16 kids in your class. <laughs> okay, 16 kids, all right. But still, weird humble brag. Well, very rich. He was the seventh, better than the 17th person. Did you grow up in a rich family? In terms of uh, the values that my mom and dad had. Well, I think some of the values that they taught He's Cooking a slab of meat my on, some, on some fencing. Said, hey, uh, I'm going to starve uh, before I take any welfare. And also hard work, the work ethic. My I'm going to starve before I take any welfare. I'm going to toss that out there. Uh, if your parent would rather starve and have you starve as well than feed you with welfare money, they're not a good parent. That isn't a virtue. That is a red flag. That is not good. Please, if you need help, please get it. You deserve dignity and a quality of life. You deserve it, okay? Just, just so strange. My mom would uh, put chickens in the freezer that we'd butcher in our basement and corn that she'd... Uh, uh... Wait, did she put the chickens in the freezer and then butcher them or butcher them and then put them in the freezer? Uh, make herself so she didn't have to buy store-bought food. We, we were so grateful for all the things we had, even though as we watched uh, the world around us, we certainly weren't considered wealthy people by any standards. So I uh, went into college from my high school career where I was bent on winning. And I remember sitting in school and seeing, you know, some of my friends' dads get killed in Korea. We all have to do our share. 
My uh, original training uh, was a, uh, a stint at Fort Benning, Georgia. It's interesting that he says we all have to do our share. I mean, sure, what, but share of what? Like, share for what? What's the share in? What do I, what, what, what is, what is the arrangement? What am I, what am I investing in? What am I getting back, right? In the 50s, during the Korean War, y you were getting fair wages and a high income tax on the wealthy. <laughs> and you had opportunities and uh, cheaper classes and abilities to go to college and, 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 and there was economic movement available to lots of folks if you were white. <laughs> so, like, just do that. Just tax the fucking shit out of the wealthy. And maybe we do a little bit of the, uh, the old, uh, you know, New Deal shit and we, we, can, we can get that shit taken care of, huh? Maybe. Do our share, except for wearing masks. That's true. Where I was trained to be an infantry platoon leader. It was hard work to learn how to do that and to be able to motivate. Wow, look at that fucking racist. Jesus. Great men. And then uh, after that, I went to Fort Bliss, uh, uh, Texas, where I was engaged as a uh, intelligence officer for a guided missile brigade. What did your military experience? Teach you. Who? Why are we talking to this guy? Is he running for Congress or something? I just thought this was wild stuff. He was shooting fucking fireworks out of a Tech Nine earlier. How, how to bounce a quarter on a bed? <laughs> I just, I finally got very good at that, and it, it taught me also how you're responsible for other people's lives, and and that when you go through the chow line. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw it too. Bert. As a lieutenant, I was going to be the last guy that went through the chow line. Just like in my Western life, you know, I make sure I take care of my horse before I have my evening meal. Make sure he's watered and fed and curried. Okay. All right. Worried about this song? Gonna do this. Eight hundred dollars of accumulated pay, a '62 Volkswagen, a baby, uh, and a height of bed and an Admiral TV. And okay. our, our beginnings were were quite humble. Each one of us are a composition of the people that influence our lives, and, and none of us get to where we are by our what year <laughs> ourselves. Uh, managing fifteen billion dollars is not a one man job. Just through word of mouth, people loved our investment strategy where we didn't go after the well-known companies, but we tried to find sort of a rosebud, and then when it turned into a full-blown blossom and all the institutions wanted it, we would sell it and then go back and buy other rosebuds. And also, I, I believe the fact God has given me a gift to how to pick people. God, God did it. Wow. Okay, so a stockbroker. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And the people we selected were absolute champions. Cool, people man. sometimes accuse me of being generous, and my first response is, "Hey, guys, this ain't my money. It's the Lord's money." <laughs> and if it's, it's the Lord's money, it's mine. You wouldn't be getting one red dead cent. Uh, in the biblical sense, we've been set free to serve, and so let's go out and and, and do that. I, I love the. How much money has this guy given? Does anybody know? If he's given most of his wealth, like, like, cool, one, one good one, but like, doubt it, highly doubt it. The exhortation that we get by reading the Bible, it says we are designed to be a channel of God's love to others, to be his hands and feet in a hurting world, and to be a blessing to every person he puts in the path. And the joy that's come from knowing that mission Rather than saying, hey, i I got to make another million, <laughs> it, it just created a whole sense of joy of feeling I kinda am, I'm in step with what God would have me be. Is that, is Why would anyone want to be a, a socialist to have all this free stuff? Oh, <laughs> to have all this free stuff. What stuff? What is he talking about? What's the free part? When if you have an economy that you can earn your way, envy used to be sin. 
What do they think socialism is? What do they think it is? Who's telling them this? It, which one of you did it? Which one of you said socialism is free stuff? How? Why would you do this to us? You son of a bitch. Okay, can we just say what, what I want? What socialism is really? Socialism allows for capitalism. No one's going to get rid of the markets. It's market socialism at best right now. We're, clearly, we're not going to move into a fucking moneyless society overnight. Bob or whatever the fuck your name is. I don't remember. I have no fucking clue what his name is. Totally forgot. Socialism. People still fucking work under the system that everybody is proposing. They just want access to healthcare, education, shelter, and food. These are the things they want. And probably internet. Like, that's the whole... It's the whole... All of it, really. Just access. <laughs> I don't understand who's telling you no one works anymore. There's no freedoms. I would argue and would win the argument that there's more freedom under my... Va my, my uh, you know proposed i guess i guess solutions to america's ills there's more freedom i don't know what the fuck everything is earned in any situation under fucking i mean literally any economic system like what if someone isn't able to earn in the sense that he means whatever they need to live you know what I mean? They should just live in a shit home forever. They should just live like shit because, you know, you have to be able to earn the good stuff. You can't can't be lazy without your fucking legs. Don't be lazy. You just gotta you gotta you gotta live your days right where I put you. Leave you there. Make you scrape for fucking disability. That that's the bar for a great country. That's the great country these guys like. Ugh. In my America, my version of America, an actual great country, actual Jake, actual great country, just saying, we'll rename it. The day I become president, we will rename America actual great country. In mine, it doesn't matter how you're born, you have as many opportunities to succeed as everybody else. SSI, you only get $794 a month. That isn't great living. That's, I mean, that's just not enough. That isn't enough. Make America actually great. Absolutely. Shit's so fucking dumb. Now it's embedded in the very fabric of our government where people are entitled to everything. And you, you're not going to be limited to what you can buy. You look at welfare. Well, welfare, you can't make 100000 a year in welfare. But if you go out and work hard and get a job, you can you can become a foster freeze. And uh, A foster freeze. His name is Foster Freeze. Not everybody can be a foster freeze, dude. Like, not everybody can be a fucking stockbroker. Some people have to be that bartender you got the drink from. Like, they have to be that. Because we have bars. And we want them. And so, in some ways, you almost have to maintain this class of people at the wage they exist. Right? There's always going to be this. So, no, not everybody can fucking do this. You're like, well, maybe eventually they can. You know, just sort of like, everybody just keeps ticking up. That's not what fucking happens, dude. Guy name is Foster Freeze. He's a superhero. Slash supervillain. Uh, I'd, I'd love to have you join the family. Don't take the bait, kids. Socialism sucks. Don't take the bait. Is it just because he'd be taxed at a higher rate? So this guy, Charlie Kirk, sees me in a, uh, a stairwell wearing my deerskin jacket. And he tells me what he wants to do. I said, well, this guy's 18 years old and he has this vision of what he wants to do. I like this guy. And if you look what Charlie and, and not only him, but the people he's surrounded himself with. Rand Paul. I mean, they're eager, they're excited. They're people that want to give and want to prosper and want to succeed. 
Well, what, what turning point means to me is these young people love America. Where people on the left, I don't think they really think about all this investment that soldiers and died and sailors that died. And <laughs> Okay. So we're going to talk about the dead soldiers. Um, sure. Uh, there was some investment. Weird way to put it. Uh, there were there were lives lost in the uh, 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 along the way, as it were, um, to create the America that we want to create. Sure, I agree that maybe the Revolutionary War. Uh, I mean, it was certainly necessary for America to exist. Was it ethically necessary? Maybe. Who fucking cares? Fuck, fuck England. I don't care about them. So sure, we'll say that's a good one. Civil War. I'd say that's a good one because the North won. Boom. Take that, slavery. Boom. Uh, I'd say World War II, we regretfully regretfully entered into a decent war uh, because we stopped fascism. I think that might be, I think we ran out of good wars. So if you are... What eighty years old, and you have a a a dead relative? Then maybe you had one that died in a good war. What about World War One? If you're a hundred years old, <laughs> maybe you had a dead relative that died in a war that no one needed to to die in, um, and we certainly didn't need to die in the way that they died. World War One was a fucking tragic bullshit uh, war. Um, <clears throat> Rwanda wasn't technically a war. No, and we didn't do good things in Rwanda. We watched people as they died. Um, yeah, I can't think of a just war. And I don't even know that World War II was just. It would have been just to do it much earlier. Right? But they were protectionist. Be like, oh no, let's let millions of people fucking die. It's like, well, now there's a fascist like, like fucking blitzkrieging through Europe, and your allies are like, hey, can we please, please, can you help? <laughs> we just are like, nah, that's fine. Let's name him fucking man of the year, dude. Um. <laughs> So yeah, I guess I guess you can invoke dead soldiers as an investment in America's country. But you know what else I would invest or I would say is an investment, the lives lost along the way? Martin Luther King. <laughs> right? You know, uh, uh and any other sort of like social justice advocate that lost their lives along the way, the countless LGBTQ uh, members uh, that died fighting for their own rights and the rights of uh, others in the community. You know what I mean? Like, like all sorts of civil rights actions had to take place. Everybody who was killed by police brutality is just another body in the pile that has to weigh down the scale of justice enough for us to get reasonable legislation for people in marginalized communities. I mean, there's there's so many other lives besides those paid by the government to go die. You know? So, sure. The soldiers, some of them, yeah. All these people that made our country what it is. and But the turning people, they get it. And I think uh, the more we can encourage them and, and uh, help them educate their, their fellow students, uh, these... These people on the left, they're not necessarily stupid or evil. They're just very, very badly informed. <laughs> hey, man, I'd love to ask uh, Doc Dr. Freeze, Mr. Freeze from Batman, whatever, whatever, Fred Freeze. I'd love to talk to him. So anytime, Frederick Freeze. Uh, freedom, integrity, honesty, hard work. Uh, this is what Turning Point means to me. That that means a great deal to me that these people are willing out to, to fight the good fight. And uh, is this the guy bankrolling TPUSA? Is that really what he's running an ad for himself? We're we're uh, we're going to back go Turning Point right to the hilt. 
I mean, I'm sort of what people would call the American dream. I'm Foster Fries. Foster. Mm. And that is my only in America story. Cool, man. I'm going to turn this down. So that's Foster Freeze in his really cool America story. You guys want to see some B-roll? Only in America can $800 turn into a beautiful ranch like this. $800 turned into this ranch, chat. Back when $800 probably bought all this property. <clears throat> as he westernly expanded into native territory. Shooting his six-shooter. Yeah, blowing up. Blowing stuff up. Only in America can you blow up stuff on your own ranch's gun range. That's not true at all. That is that is quite literally not true. You can do that in many countries. Many of them. There's so many countries you can do that in. I don't give a shit if you blow stuff up in your own backyard. I don't give a fuck. Literally Australia. Now, he would think that Australia, you can't do that. You fucking can. Did he blow his gun twice in four seconds? Yeah, you got to make it. <laughs> it's sort of like a hot pizza roll. You know when you like bite the corners off a pizza roll and sort of pop it open? <sighs> and blow the inside out? <sighs> and you sort of like way too early pop it in and the roof of your mouth gets burnt? Or am I the only one that eats pizza rolls like that? Because I'm carefree and I have whimsy. You know what's so awesome about this country? Does he, does he two fork and You get to eat what you just saw running around the field a few hours ago. This didn't have any GMOs. It didn't have any. Just nice grass. Just nice grass. He ate that fucking cow. He just murdered that fucking cow, dude. Again, not the only country where you can eat beef. Surprisingly. Not the only country where you can eat beef. Um... I did, I'm sorry I had to say that. Only country in the world with roads. Oh, only in America can you stand on a porch. Always be grateful for God's blessing. Only in America can you give it all up to the big man upstairs and never take credit for anything. In our lives. I represent Look at those fucking Look at that. What a great firework. Son, I believe the American dream couple of ranches, some real estate, being able to give a couple hundred million dollars away, according to the press, have a, introduces a billionaire. So he's only given away a couple hundred million dollars. He is a billionaire. Look, hey, hey, dude. Going to have to be a little bit more than a few hundred million, okay? Going to have to be a little bit more at this point. Uh, this is the uh, American story. Foster Freeze, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Only, only in America can you laugh in a chair. That's true. <laughs> okay. Okay. <I> mean... <laughs> oh, that's it. That's actually true. Only in America can you do that. Only in America can you give the American flag the texture of the uh, amazing Spider-Man costume during the uh, Tobey Maguire years. Or like a like a football maybe? I don't know what's what that texture is. It looks like lizard skin batting gloves. All right. Thanks, Foster Freeze. Finally remembered your name. I finally did it. I'm the best. I'm really great at this. This is uh, more TPUSA, a little ad for you guys. And thank you for giving the uh, critical race car theory. politics and the spillover i am so excited to dude it's like a theater like like at the beginning of the movies they always do the like like welcome to cinedyne cinemas i'm your host fucking the lady from e hollywood and let's talk about entertainment. Like, every time. It's the same ad. Here early. with all of you today. Look, what Turning Point does for campuses around the country is so important, and it's only getting bigger. Here's some conservatee. Oh, God. I can't fucking stand that shit. Uh, let's watch this, though. Most heavily funded oh. tribe. A long walk in socialism. Have the poorest population. Listen to me. Uh -huh. My country is very because... Everything problem here. Don't have petroleum for Bush and Cuba, for car, for life, yeah. for nothing. And it sucks. Socialism sucks. <laughs> sucks. 
Well, Cuba's problem is that America forces them to not have a good time. So. There's no other way you can describe it. Powered Hello, by Hello, America Fest. This is Jack Posobiec once again, the host of Human Events Daily here on the Turning He blocked me on Twitter. Point Live Network. Now, I don't remember one of why. the main questions that I get every day is, Jack, how do I get involved? I Jack, how do I maintain an erection like you do? You're just too messing at all times for no reason. I want to be part of this fight for Western civilization. This For Western civilization. These guys are fucking crazy, dude. Fight for traditional values. What do I do? Well, the first thing I say is, are you married? The second thing I say Get married? is, are you going to the gym? But the third Get married, go to the gym. The third thing I say is, once you've done all of that and you still want to do more politically, it's simple. You've got to get involved with Turning Point USA. Oh. Get married, go to the gym, join Charlie Kirk's cult. All right, fucking dope. This is the organization that is leading the fight, leading the charge against the woke social justice left that is trying to take over our country. So what do you do? If you want to get involved, we actually have set up a brand new text message for this. You text get involved, <laughs> all one word, to 71776. Jesus. Get involved, all one word, to 71776. And a member of our team will reach out today. I'll see you out there. He fucked that up. We'll reach out today. And they just kept that take because he's like, I'm not fucking doing another one, okay? How much does the earth cost? How much does the earth cost? I'm going to buy the entire earth. What? What's, what's happening? Is that a song I don't know? Is this a song you guys are familiar with? This is she's she's in a, in a blacked out Rolls Royce. Look how swaggy she is, chat. God damn. Tax the rich. Be the rich. Wow. Fucking wow. Dude. <laughs> I hope they keep saying, like, be the rich. I hope they fucking do. <laughs> this is so fucking cringy, dude. Should I haven't tried just being rich? Yeah, just do it, bro. What up, America Fest? It's John Root. You know, turn... John Root. What up, America Fest? I love... I mean, I'm not the only one noticing this, right? I am not the only one noticing this, right? They're like they're like trying to talk like they listen to the rippity raps. Like wh what are they fucking doing? Is that Jim is that, no, that's this is Jerry Gaffigan. Turning point USA wouldn't not be Jim. where it's at today if it wasn't for you. Code switching is when someone else is in the room or you're talking with somebody and then you start talking like them a little bit. He, there's no one in the room talking like that to him. Your incredible support. Whether you're the boots on the ground at woke schools or standing up to cancel culture online. Listen to all those fucking buzzwords, dude. These are like the, this is the, the equivalent, like the political equivalent to a pop song. It's like mathematically just like, like, did you see that when Call Me Maybe came out? Articles came out and they're like, AIs like rated this as like the poppiest of all pop songs ever. Her channels are literally called Poplitics. I mean, yeah, and now they're just they're just doing the same thing. It's fucking crazy, dude. Are you boots on the ground at a woke college? Like it's like they're trying to algorithm. There's always a way to show your support. You can take our mission to the next level today by going to tpusa.com slash donate. Because of you, we can put on parties like this, fight woke culture, and conserve American values for the future. Parties? What are you waiting for? Donate today. This is just a sex thing for Charlie Kirk, right? 
He just goes here and he fucks very quickly and sadly and disappointingly some of these conserva cuties or whatever, cute servatives. And then and then he just waits until the summertime for the lady show. Capitalist. Cap it capitalist period. Live free. Is the it should say die hard on the back. Damn dude, those are nice. What is with all the rap shit? And they haven't had a single black person involved. <laughs> Ew, socialism. What a fucking bunch of weird... Taxation is theft? Okay. So they just don't... What? Oh my fucking god. So they don't want any taxes, which is actually really interesting. Okay. Just consume. Buy a shirt. Save America. Hell yeah, dude. That's how it works. When you buy shirts, you save American lives. Boots on the ground. Boots on the motherfucking ground. <laughs> 